Hello folks and welcome to today's video. I'm Paul and uh, just before I begin I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel and also for anyone uh, just watching the videos that's really appreciated and also I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who's left a comment on the channel um, recently that's really appreciated um, with it being such a small channel and I do hope you enjoy uh, what I'm trying to put together here. Uh, so today's walk is basically, um, it's built up from a series of walks, it's some pre-recorded footage and it's really covering an area called the Wind Gather Rocks which is in the Peak District National Park and it's probably about three miles from the village of Kettles Hume. Um, I'm sure you can see from the footage uh, as I've panned round there that uh, this covers some really uh, stunning countryside. Um, the walks were uh, did take place over a series of different uh, days and different times of the year and also uh, at different times. So there's quite a few a kind of late afternoon uh, around winter when you get that real stunning colours and afternoon sunshine um, just before the sun sets. And I'm sure you'll see some uh, really nice Peak District uh, countryside. So the idea is I'll give you uh, just a bit of information about Wind Gather Rocks, the location. Um, it is a place that I will be visiting again uh, once the uh, restrictions um, change and we're actually allowed to get out there and visit more places. Uh, but in the meantime, I do hope you uh, enjoy this short bit of uh, footage, uh, which I will uh, put some music to as usual. So yes, just a bit of information, Wind Gather Rocks, it forms a prominent landscape feature on the fringes of the Peak District National Park in Cheshire. And the rock outcrop is known as Wind Gather Rocks. It's formed from Chatsworth grits and they are coarse grit stones full of layers of mostly quartz pebbles. Now there is some footage uh, and photographs of the rocks uh, as part of this I've put together which uh, hopefully you'll see and uh, the rock is well cemented which makes it hard and brittle and the quartz causes it to sparkle in the sunshine. The acidic nature of the rock means it does not contain large fossils and that during the carboniferous, carboniferous period 360 to 299 million years ago the site that was to become Wind Gamma Rocks lay over the equator. These grit stones were laid down where an ancient river once met the sea in a massive river delta. And the trees and swamps of that period form the coals that are mined today. The wonderful variety of rocks, fossils, minerals and natural geological processes found in the world is known as geodiversity. And Wind Gather Rocks is designated as a RIGS, a regionally important geological geomorphological site good luck saying that after a few beers due to the unusual structures found in the rocks so there's just a little bit of uh, information about the marvelous wind gather rocks so anyway i will uh, leave you with some music and as i say thanks again to everyone who's watching if there's any suggestions you have or any comments on the video then i'd be really grateful if you could uh, leave a comment and if you like it give the video a thumbs up in the meantime i'll leave you some music and i will speak to you a bit later on okay thanks enjoy the video bye for now